Hello guys, welcome to the another video in this series of Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between terminal, shell and a console. So let's begin. Before talking about these three terms, let's first try to understand how can we interact with the system. So there are basically two methods. First method is GUI method and the another method is the command method. In the GUI method, we can see this screen and the instructions are generally given using the mouse or mouse cursor. Okay. For example, an instruction could be like open the computer. Okay. So this is one of the instruction. So basically we are providing the instruction to our system using the GUI method. Another method is the command line method. In command line method, we interact with our system using the command. So basically we write some commands and the system then take those commands and based upon those commands the output is shown. Okay. So there are two methods. First is GUI method and another is command line method. Okay. So now let's say that we want to interact with the command line method. So we need some sort of interface in which we can write our commands. Okay. So that particular interface is provided by the terminal. Okay. So if I go to the menu and write here terminal and then open it then this particular interface is known as the terminal okay so what is a terminal it is just an interface which is provided by the system so that we can write the commands okay or interact with the commands okay so this is terminal now what is shell now shell is the actual program that takes the command as an input and give us some output okay and whenever a terminal is initiated a shell is also loaded Okay, so shell is the actual program that takes the user input and give us the output and terminal is whenever a terminal is initiated then a default shell is also opened. Okay, so here this is our terminal and it is some sort of shell. Okay, now there are basically many shells available. For example, if we see in the list we can see there is bond shell, con shell, bond again shell, POSIX shell, C shell, KC, TCSH which is the extension of CSH shell and there are many more okay so shell could be many it is not like that only bash is available or sh is available there are many shells available in the market and you can work on any shell okay but remember that all different shells can interact differently for example if I only talk about these two shells which are bash and tcsh then whenever we initiate a bash shell then it looks for bash profile file okay while the tcss shell look for dot login file okay i'm just trying to tell you some differences but remember that most of the things between different shells are same but some of the things will be different okay there will be minute difference between the different shells okay so for an example i had written here bash profile file so it looks for the bash profile file on loading while TCSS cell looks for dot login. Similarly, whenever you want to create environment variable, then it uses this format, while TCSH cell will use this format. Okay, this is variable. And this is redirection output error, which we will talk in the later video. This is used by F shell and this is used by TCSH. Again, don't worry about these differences or this file. We will be talking about this in later videos. Okay, so remember that. The actual program that is taking our input is a shell and shell is given by our terminal. Okay. Now the question arise here is that what is a console? In the previous time we had seen that to interact with our system we only use the command line method. Okay. There was no GUI method. In that particular era what it looks like something this. Okay. So there is this monitor which wholly consists of the screen. And in this we write the commands and only a keyboard is given okay there was no particular mouse okay so we had to write the commands and based on the commands the output was shown on that time there was no mouse or no GUI method on that particular instances these were known as the console okay or we can say the combination of monitor and a keyboard was known as the console so the question arise here is that can you use console in your laptop or in your PC the answer is yes just have a google search what are the shortcut keys 
to operate your operating system as a console okay so there would be some shortcut key and if you press those key a console will be open on that time you will not be able to interact with your system using the graphical interface okay so remember that and there will it will also provide some shortcut keys through which you can come back to your gui form okay or normal form so you can work as a console also but nowadays we generally see both the accumulation of both gui and command line method okay another thing is that if you want to know what what shell you are using right now or what is the default shell then you can write the command echo and then dollar capital shell okay this will give us the shell name which is currently bash okay in my system note that bash is the most popular one and in most of the operating system it is also the default one okay so this dollar shell our environment variable and this is a command which you will see in the later videos but just for now if you want to see your default uh, shell then you can use this command okay so remember terminal is a provide us the interface to write the commands then shell is the actual program that takes our input and give us the output and console is the combination of monitor and keyboard that were used in the previous time which was used to interact with the system using the command line method okay so i hope you get the idea of all these three terms so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video